Good morning, my name is Nichelle Aiden. I'm with Libertas Institute and I'm at the Capitol with Representative Ryan Green to talk about House Bill 19 on civil asset forfeiture. First, can you just tell us a little bit about the bill? Yeah, thanks, Nichelle. The, the bill is actually a, something I've been working on for the last three years now. This will be the third session. Uh, we've, we've got a little bit further each year, but, but really what this is about is, is restricting government's ability to just take an individual's property under the assertion that it was used in a crime or, or the fruits of, of criminal activity without actually proving that. And when we lift a process out of our criminal court system and move it over to civil court where these forfeiture actions take place, we leave behind all of the protections, the constitutional protections that go with the, the process. So the presumption of innocence, the right to counsel, the, the due process protections that the criminal court affords. And, and so we're just trying to elevate those protections a little bit through the, the civil process. Because if the justification for using government authority, or government force, uh, to take your property, to take an individual's private property, is the fact that they may have committed crime, then the government ought to, there ought to be a pretty high bar for the government to prove that the criminal activity actually occurred. Mm -hmm. so, this is what we're trying to accomplish with these common sense reforms. Perfect. Um, have other states been reforming or prohibiting civil asset forfeiture? You know, when I started this effort three years ago, Minnesota had, was the first state to take this action. And since then, and, and I wanted Utah to be second or third. Since then, there have been about a dozen states that have come to their senses and taken this these reform actions. All of them much more radical and have gone further in their reforms than what I'm proposing. Um, I, I'd be happy to get the, the common sense reforms that uh, are in my bill, but in, in other states, they've either eliminated civil forfeiture altogether and, mm -hmm. and require prosecutors to take these actions through criminal court, or they've required a criminal prosecution and conviction as a prerequisite to taking the forfeiture action through the civil court process. All we're doing is saying there, there needs to be at least a parallel criminal prosecution. And if at any time that criminal prosecution results in an acquittal or it's dismissed, then that would put an end to the civil forfeiture action as well. And so hopefully we can be, you know, at least in the top 15 states if we can get this passed this year. But so far this year, Ohio and California have already beat us to it. They've, they've passed reforms this year. Huh, okay, I hadn't heard that. So, and like you said, this isn't the first time you've tried to reform civil asset forfeiture. Why do you think you'll be successful this session? Well, because I, I think as a necessity of, of policy making, of, of legislating, compromise is always a, a, a necessary uh, a part of that process. We've done a lot of compromise. We've listened to prosecutors and law enforcement and, and uh, engaged with them and, and actually taken some of their, con their concerns into consideration and amended the bill to a point where I, I can't believe they would still be opposed to it, uh, or at least as vigorously opposed as they've been in the past. That on top of the traction that this issue is getting nationwide, I, I think uh, is, is good f for Utah. Uh, We've had a public poll or a public opinion poll here in the state showing that over 80%, I think about 86, 84, 86% of the public are concerned about this and don't want the government to be able to just take your property that easily without convicting you of a crime. Mm -hmm. So I think all the forces are in our favor and I'm hopeful that this is the year. Perfect. If you have any questions or want to contact your legislator or just to get more or get more information, click on the description in the link below.